Hey guys, today I will be showing you a step-by-step -step process on how to create a custom shoestring swing ride like this one. This will be a very technical episode, so pay close attention. The first thing you'll want to do is activate the following cheats. Then disable clearance checks. The next step, you will want to determine where you will build your control track. It's best to bury the control track underground so it is not visible. This will all make more sense later. I will also go through everything one more time at the end so everything is clear. As you can see, I lower the train here, as this is where I will be building my control track. At the end, I will raise the train back over it. Having clearance checks disabled will make this possible. The coaster type I will be using is the wooden wild mouse coaster mainly because it does not take up a lot of space due to the tight turns. Now build the ride station. You want to build the station at the height level you want guests to enter and exit, even though the control track will be below the ground. Do not put the station lower and simply raise the entrance and exit buildings using the tile inspector. When the guests exit, they will still exit at the same height of the original station. So if you do this wrong, they will exit underground and into the void. The next thing you will want to do is go into the ride operating options and adjust the lift hill speed to about 20 miles per hour or however fast you want the ride to go as the lift hills will be what powers or pulls the control track. Then adjust the vehicle type appropriately. I will be leaving the vehicle type of this tutorial as minecarts as it is easier to show what I am doing. However, to make a swing ride, you will want the floorless swinging cars as shown in the demo at the beginning of this tutorial. Make sure to adjust it down to one train and however many are necessary to fill all gaps in the swing ride. In this case, the Wild Mouse minecars needed about 23, however the swing ride needed about 30. You will have to work with this over trial and error a few times when testing the final ride to get it just right. Now continue from the station and build the first control track. It does not have to be at the lowest height, just make sure nothing shows above the ground. This control track will be the determining factor on the duration of the swing ride. Make sure every piece has chain lifts on them. Now we will build the second control track. Do not create a new ride. You want all control tracks to be the same ride. You can do this by copying a track piece in the tile inspector and placing it somewhere else, then right clicking it to continue to build off of it. You will make sure to actually rotate it to make this successful. This track will intercept the control car on the control track and have it overlap and intercept the car before it returns to the main station as well as reintegrate it back onto the original control track. These switch tracks can be difficult. Pay attention to the order of the elements list. The one listed on top will be drawn over the other one and that is the track the vehicles will take. On the reintegration switch, you want to make the second track under the first and on the intercept switch, you want it above. Now test it, and you will see that the vehicle will never return to the station. Now we'll need to alter the second control track. You will need to build a station. However, do not create a new one by continuing off the track as before. Instead, make a spot for it by deleting one piece and then using the tile inspector Copy and paste the one from the original station, paste it, and lower it into position. Now you will need to check to make sure the station index matches for both of them. You can control click on them using the tile inspector, and you'll see the station index here. Inspect both of them and make sure the station index matches each other. If it changes, redo it. If it is not the same station, the game will treat it as a different station and will make you put another entrance and exit building, which is counterproductive to what we are trying to accomplish. You want to trick the game into thinking it is returning it to the original station, when in reality, it is not. Now if you open the ride at this point, you will see the guests enter at the regular station but still fill the cars below, and then subsequently exit at the same height. Now onto the final control track. You will want to repeat the copy technique and continue to build off of it. Lay a track underneath and before the reintegration switch track from the second control track. Have this raise up to the height you will want the swing to be, typically one higher or five feet, 
than the entry station to mimic the swings hanging above the ground. Circle around to right in front of the station and then change the ride type to something with the appropriate turn sizes. In this case, the looping roller coaster will work. Build a continuous loop around like so. Afterwards, change this back to the wooden wild mouse. You will see the turn disappeared. Do not worry, it's because the wooden wild mouse does not have this graphic, but the track is still there and functioning. Now for the final touch. Test the ride, and as soon as the first car in the train passes the third control track switch, pause your game. Next, select the track with the tile inspector and switch the two tracks in the elements list so now the third one is on top of the first. Reactivate your game, and you will see it cut the rest of the train off from the first car. The game is programmed to have the rest of the train follow the first car, meaning the game will think the rest of the train is following it, so while it gets pulled by the chain lifts, it will continue around in a circle giving it the impression of the repeating swing ride. Let's go over everything again. Whichever track is drawn on top within the elements list will take priority where the cars will go. You can shoestring a train by altering the order of the switch tracks while the trains are on top of them. The cars on the train will believe they are following the first car as that is how the game is programmed. This control track is what determines the duration of the ride. The second control track has a dummy or false station copied into place to trick the game into believing that the train returns to the original station. The very last thing you will then want to do is raise the land, make the entry buildings invisible, and turn the ride into a crooked house so it completely disappears. The reason for this is that the crooked house will not break down so often with all the chain lift pieces, and will not create the audible chain lift noise either. Throw in some scenery, and there you have it, one custom swing ride. I wanted to thank Broxier for the technical help with this ride design, as well as a big thank you to Marcel for the continued shoutouts on his YouTube channel. In the off chance you are also not subscribed to him, head over to his YouTube channel and do so. I will have his channel link in the video description. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Make sure you don't miss the next episode by subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell icon. I'll see y'all next time.